People have vowed that they shall not see space filled with weapons of mass destruction. But 50 years after newest version of X 37B, S or 71 Blackbird, an H 9 space bomber were launched. Since the Outer Space Treaty of 1967 banned the stationing and use of nuclear weapons in space, atomic testing continues. Purposes with which human air force are going to use remote controlled and manned orbital shuttles are publicly classified. One of the official versions of their functions is the delivery of cargo in orbit. Other claims that they are used for spying. According to historians, those assumptions are unbelievable. And the most likely purpose of those units, use of the space interception technologies, that allows to inspect any alien objects, and if necessary, to destroy them, with most efficient methods that currently exist on Earth. So, where was expert E7B during those two or more years? Except statement. The Earth's physics does not apply in space. There is no friction, no gravity, no mass, and nothing can slow down or burn out because of the speed or be smashed by G-force. Accept statement. Not only the maximum speed, but also the acceleration factors would be kept indefinitely, unless counteracted. From the moment it is out of orbit, the object would keep accelerating in geometric progression without use of any extra fuel. With the maximum speed up to 480 km per hour and acceleration factor of 0.13 km per second, X-37B would get to the light speed in 117 hours. In 136 hours it would accelerate to the speed of 8.9 light years per hour. Nearest known planetary system, Alpha Centauri, 4.4 light years away from Earth. Only problems that would still exist, to keep the life support in the temperatures of absolute zero, to protect life from deadly radiation, and avoid collisions with the space junk. Those problems were solved by the invention of reprogrammed flight controls, by sending probes and beacons, and by mapping the galaxy. Meaning, X-37B could visit the Alpha Centauri system and come back, without any problems whatsoever. Did you ever think about that? No. Now, ask yourself, what would it be doing there? And why was there no official statement from the media? In the memory of Neil Armstrong, sending back, Hello there, from space. Based on the speech by John F. Kennedy, named we choose to go to the moon and information currently available about remote controlled and unmanned orbital space shuttles pre-programmed flight controls so-called artificial intelligence confirmed by hubble telescope fact of the expansion of the universe and the expression yes we can 26 october 2014 and dump the einstein's hundred years old theory already that nothing can move faster than the speed of light it does not apply in space